In this lesson, I will walk you through getting a Power Apps free trial license. Hi, my name is Minerva Gori, and I'll show you step by step on how to get a free trial license to start creating powerful apps that can be created what is referred to low code or minimal amount of coding. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell so that you get notifications when I publish a new video. So here we are in a browser. You can open any browser you want. And here I'm going to start typing Power Apps. Click Enter, and you will see that I have this return in my search engine of different ways to get to Power Apps. And I'm going to be looking for this one that says Business Apps, Microsoft Power Apps. So it's going to be powerapps.microsoft.com. So I'm going to click on that. And now that I'm here, I am in the Power Apps website for Microsoft. You can see here it says Microsoft Power Apps. And right here it says the world needs great solutions, build yours faster. Now everyone can quickly build and share low-code apps with Microsoft Power Apps. And it gives you an option to start free or take a guided tour. So if we scroll down, you will be able to see that you have the option to go read their blog to learn more about Power Apps and other places to learn about connectors and things like that. And then if we scroll down further, it tells us that we can build professional grade apps the easy way. So you can increase agility across your organization by rapidly building low code apps that modernize processes and solve tough challenges. Okay, so you can actually get started very quickly. You can build apps without compromises and it enables extensibility for developers, for you that are developers out there. And of course, it's easy to use for all others that are not developers. For you that are not a developer, it will be as easy as using Microsoft Excel with a, with a graphical user interface. So we can scroll down and we can see that this has been used by many major companies, including a school system. So they have that information of how it's been used in these companies. And also we keep scrolling down, it gives you more information of how it improves businesses overall. And then if we sc scroll down, we can see that you can gain a competitive advantage by linking all your data. So these are the connectors that you can have. There's hundreds of connectors for data sources. So here you can see examples, you can connect to your Outlook, SharePoint, OneDrive, and then if we keep there's planner for all of you that use Microsoft project or similar project management. That is what we talk about on this channel a lot. And also you can see here, you can use Excel online. You can see use Gmail, Twitter. We haven't seen it here, but you can use Google sheets. We might see that in future videos. And you can see project online. This is also what we touch upon in this channel a lot. So we may see videos on this for lessons later on. But right now, this is introduction for just general usage of Power Apps. Okay, so you, there's many, many connectors. You can see Google Sheets right now. You can also connect it to YouTube. So if you want to explore more of the connectors to see if this will work for you, you can actually click on Explore Connector Library and you can see the rest of the connectors. If you want to do that, I'm going to right click and we can look at it pretty quickly in a new tab. I'm going to go over here and then here it gives you a Microsoft document where it tells you all about what you can do. And these are the popular connectors. So you can go through that page if you want to. I'm going to close it because we're donated in this video. And then it also says that you can do this alone with Power Apps or you can build it together with these other apps that Microsoft has, like Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. If you need more information, you can come down here and have all these links down here. 
you can start free if you click on here or you can click on top here to try free we need to go over what type of plans are available for purchase before we try free we are not going to get a purchased license today so we're going to click on buy now just to go look and you're going to see here that we have the power apps pricing they have two main options and here you can see you can choose the currency right now i'm in us dollars because i'm in the united states but if you open it up you can see that you can go see euros and you can see the prices in euros if that is what you need or you can scroll down and see like mexican pesos and you can see how much it is in mexican pesos okay we're going to go back and change it back to us dollar and so we're going to scroll down and we're going to see what it is per plan so right here is for one app per user this is ten dollars per user per app per month this is best for businesses that want to license each user to run one app at a time so that means you're going to be building one app at a time with the flexibility to stack licenses for each additional app so this requires access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center with global administration or billing administration role. This is to purchase this for your company. If you do not have those roles, then you will need your company to go ahead and buy it for you and assign it to you as a user. And then you can go ahead and use it. Then we have this plan that is per user plan. So you can run unlimited apps per user. So you can build as many apps as you want at a time. And it's $40 per user per month. So this is best for businesses that want one license for each user, regardless of the number of apps they need to create. And as you can see, we can choose to try it for free right here for this one, for the one that is the more robust plan to run many apps. This one for $10 a month does not have a free trial so this is the one we're going to be trying and so if we scroll down we will see what we will get with the power apps plan so this one is for the power app plan per ten dollars per user and this one is for the forty dollars a user so these are prices as of today of course they can always change in the future so right now this is uh, for today so this one for running custom apps you can build and run custom apps you can do two apps and one portal at a time with this lower plan and then it's unlimited for the 40 dollars a user plan and what you can do is you can connect your data and use pre-built and custom connectors and you can also use your on-premise connectors and gateways created by your it department and then you can store and manage data and you can use the Microsoft Dataverse. It was formerly known as Com Common Data Service. And it tells you here the capacity for that. And then you can execute workflows. So you'll use Power Automate use rights and you can do custom real time workflows. And then there also down here, you can explore Power Apps add-ons which we will not go over today because we are getting the free trial. And then there's more resources down here, but we wanted to try the free trial. So you can scroll up and go find the free trial, or you can click up here on the top right, right next to buy now, click on try free. And right here it says, let's get started on this pop-up window. Please enter your work or school account to get started. So Microsoft doesn't like us to use personal emails to create any of these apps. They want us to be connected to a school or a workplace or somehow to a URL down here that has a website name to it. So if you are using this trial so that you can learn to create power apps so that then you can put it on your resume and things like that, and you just want to try it outside of work, there is a workaround, but it's going to require creating a temporary email account. And you're going to use that. Just remember that after 30 days or however long the trial, the free trial is, this account will disappear. 
and all your work will disappear with it, okay? So if you don't wanna do that and you have a work account or a school account, use that here for sure, okay? But if you wanna play around with this, learn how to build Power Apps, then you can do it for 30 days for free or however long is the trial with a temporary email. So we'll go over how to get a temporary email. We're gonna open up a new tab right here. And here I'm going to type in temporary email. And then you have many, many options to do that. You can use any one that you want. It doesn't really matter. I am going to use this one right here that's called melpoof.com and then I'm going to click on it and it opens a new one. So we're having too many tabs. I'm going to close this one and I'm going to close the first one. We don't need them anymore. Okay, we're going to go back to melpoof or whatever you whatever one you're using. I'm not advocating for any of them. But this one you can actually put an ID in here and you can put in anything you want. This gives me a list of all my emails that I have, but I'm not going to use any of those. I'm going to put mad.schedules. Okay, so that it's mad schedules. And then I'm going to create. You can also do random if you saw. Let's go click on new. You can see you can also create a random one if you want. So I'm going to click on random. And now I have a random one right here. I can use this one. But if I want to use this, so if I want to go back to my get back to mailbox, there we go. I'm in mad.schedules at mailproof.com. So I can copy this and notice that I have no emails right now. So the reason we're going to use this email so we are clear here is so that we can go to Microsoft and give them this email. And when they approve of it and they see that it's okay, they're going to send you a verification code. Once they send the verification code, it's gonna to come to this email account and you're gonna see it right here. So do not close this tab, okay? So we're gonna go back to pricing. Make sure you copied your email. We're gonna go pricing power apps and I'm going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to submit. And now it has my email right here. I can click on sign up. And here it asks that you get your email from your company. So Microsoft Power Apps is designed to be used by people within a company. So your email address may be visible to others who sign up with addresses. If your email address wasn't provided to you by your company, we want to make sure you don't use it with Microsoft Power Apps. Addresses from free service like Outlook.com or from shared email service providers shouldn't be used. So here it asks you if you if it's not an company email to use a different one. But remember, we're using it for a trial. We don't have a work address. We don't have a school address. If you do, of course, go ahead and use a different email and go put that in there. But we're going to click on yes right here. And here it asks you for your name. I'm going to put Minerva Gori. I'm going to type in a password. So I'm going to put my password in here. And right here, it's going to ask me for a verification code. Remember, we talked about this before. We're going to go back to our open tab and go see our verification code. As you can see, now we have an email in here. If you click on it, you can see you have a verification code. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to go back to Power Apps and put in our verification code. And then we're going to choose our country. And I'm going to go down to United States. And then here it, it tells you to read all the terms and conditions, Microsoft privacy policy. Do not check. I would like to create, share my information, nothing like that. Make sure to read all these terms and conditions and then click on start. 
it might take a minute to load to so just wait and because it's creating in the background it's creating your account to power up so when it comes back up it should come back up with your account So there you go, you have created your account with a free trial license to Microsoft Power Apps. You can check that to see that right here, you can see the environment, it says mailproof.com is the default. And if you can see right here, it has my initials, MG. If I open it up, you can see it has my name. It has mad.schedules.mailproof.com and this is my account. So it looks good, I am in. So there you go. That's the way we can get a free trial to use Power Apps and learn to create powerful apps with minimal code. In the next lessons, we will start creating a Power Apps from scratch step by step. So stay tuned. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel and click on the bell so that you are notified when there are new videos.